Hello everyone and happy Friday. It is Friday, May 20th, 2022. I'm Riley King and welcome to your Friday edition of your entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started right now. Ben Affleck and J-Lo react to Diva Claims in New documentary. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. I lived in the public eye and I really believe a lot of what they said. Diva. Theory O'Brien. I said to her once, doesn't this bother you? And she said, I expected this. Ben Affleck getting candid about fame. Specifically, how it impacts his fiance Jennifer Lopez. The Oscar winner opens up in Jen's documentary Halftime, dropping June 14th on Netflix. It's a short but powerful moment that dropped in the trailer on Wednesday. And I said to her once, doesn't this bother you? And she said, I expected this. The documentary is centered on Jen preparing for the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show. I want something real. I do this not for an award. To connect with people and make them feel things because I want to feel something. Feel something? Oh, we sure felt something. And ET was with Jen just days leading up to the big moment. We're gonna try to give the best Super Bowl show ever, you know. JLo's documentary also covers the highs and lows of her work in Hustlers. It's like robbing a bank, except you get the keys. Are you in? Not only did the movie generate Oscars buzz, but Jen did too for her performance as a stripper named Ramona. What do you make of all the buzz? I mean, it's it's incredible. You know, you, you sign on to these movies, you give it your all, you do, do all you can, you know, learning the, the pole dancing, the emotional journey of what these girls go through. Um, me playing a character like I've ever played. I'm a real badass here, a real bad guy. Kessler's first review is Jennifer Lopez's Oscar worthy. It was hard. I just had a very low self-esteem. Halftime will also look at the multi-hyphenate's long career, from her days in the Bronx to Hollywood royalty. My whole life, I've been battling to be heard, to be seen, to be taken seriously. One thing that's changed since the documentary was shot, Jen's love life. While filming, she was engaged to Alex Rodriguez. I mean, we've been having a lot of fun, and uh, I've been enjoying just spending time with her, our kids, her kids, and it, we learn, we have a lot of fun with each other. But they broke things off in 2021, and now Jen is one half of Benefer 2.0. I've heard you say so many times that you are a hopeless romantic, and you still believe in love, you believe in marriage. So like Kat, you still believe in all of those Absolutely. Things. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, is, has Ben seen the movie yet? You brought your fella yeah, with you tonight. He's he seen it. Yeah, yeah. He, this is just a good date. It's a great date night. We're, we're super happy. Um, what can I tell you? We're just having a good time. I would be remiss if I didn't say you were standing taking photos in front of a sign that says marry me. <laughs> it's very big. I didn't really realize how big the letters <laughs> It didn't take long for Ben to pop the question again just over a year after rekindling their romance. Perfect. And while we stay tuned for any wedding updates, we'll have halftime to look forward to. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Can't wait to see that documentary. It looks good. Rihanna gives birth to first child. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. It's a long nine or ten months, girl. You know, you, you have to enjoy it. Well, those nine or ten months are over, and Rihanna's now enjoying motherhood. Yep, the 34-year-old singer gave birth to her first child with Bo ASAP Rocky. It's amazing, and I'm, I'm honestly, truly blessed. For real, you know? The couple announced the news they were expecting in January. And at the time, a source told E.T. Riri and ASAP are over the moon about becoming parents, explaining the two are feeling very blessed that they're having a baby together and that they already consider themselves a family, but having a baby together makes that bond even stronger. She may never wear it, but 
but she's saying it so our babies will be flyer than their parents. And there's no doubt Rihanna and ASAP's kids will be as fly as their parents when it comes to fashion. The beauty will will slate all the looks as she waited for baby's arrival. Like in this green sequined halter top she wore at a Fenty Beauty event in February. You were making it look so stylish. <sighs> you having fun with that? Well, you have to. We're making it your fashion show. I love I'm it. trying oh. to enjoy it as much as I could. And fashion is one of my favorite things. So, you know, redefining what it means to even be pregnant and maternal, you know, it always, it, it, it can get uncomfortable at times. So, you, you know, you can dress the part and pretend. Turns out ASAP's been there for Reed during those uncomfortable times. A source told ET he's been her rock throughout the pregnancy. Quote, ASAP has been tending to all of Rihanna's needs and they are really enjoying this moment together as a couple. Rihanna and ASAP have such a strong bond and they can't wait to experience parenthood together. What are you looking forward to as you move into a new chapter of your life, ASAP? I'm just excited for what I don't know yet, you know? Everything is new to me, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited. And as for what kind of mom Rhea will be, she told Elle she's looking to the Real Housewives for inspo. Everyone just wants to be loved and accepted. At the base minimum, it's what your parents should be doing for you. Rihanna says she'll probably be a little like Orange County's Heather Dubrow, all accepting of whatever her kid wants to be. That's nothing compared to just being there for them. You know, you're, you're their mommy, you're their provider, you're, you're their everything. And then fiercely protective, like New Jersey's Teresa Judice. Quote, Teresa from New Jersey does not play about her kids. She will flatten you about those kids. And that resonates with me a lot. So now that the little one is here, what does that mean for Rihanna's other baby, her music? Do you think this stage in your life is going to inspire new music? Oh, gosh. It, you can't ever... You know, this is why my fans love you, you know? Because you ask all the good questions. You're good Uh, well... Yes, you're still gonna get music from me. Maybe a lullaby. I can see you and ASAP dropping demos in the studio. Oh my goodness, not a lullaby. My fans would kill me. They waited this long for a lullaby. <laughs> not to sleep with this music. Like, we are grown. Yeah, the Navy will have to continue to wait patiently for that as Rihanna and ASAP enjoy their new little bundle of joy. Congratulations to the family of three. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Congratulations to Rihanna. And thank you for tuning in for this entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and goodbye.